Vito Scaletta? Yeah? What's it to you? You're under arrest for the illegal distribution of federal ration stamps. You're coming with us. One of the gas station attendants ratted me out. The guy fingered me and they strung on Mama into telling him where I was staying. But they had no idea who I was working for and I wasn't about to tell them. Henry was able to get me a lawyer, courtesy of his boss, Clementi. I was up Shit's Creek, but at least I had a battle. Could have been a hell of a lot worse if the Feds knew and about I any of my other activities. To be even more serious, considering the fact that you stole national resources at a time when our country needs them the most. And that's the gravity of which you, Mr. Scaletta... The guy was good, but even he couldn't get me out of this one. It was a lost cause from day one. Three months later, they handed down the verdict. Vittorio Antonio Scaletta, for your crimes against the people of this city and of this great country, this court hereby sentences you to 10 years in a federal penitentiary. Murderers, child molesters, we are all here. The worst of the worst. All right, get in line, gentlemen. Follow me, single file. And no monkey business, or else. Stop right there. Turn to your right. Your other right. Listen up, assholes. My name is Captain Terrence Stone, and this is my prison. You're here on the inside because you can't behave like normal human beings on the outside. Make no mistake. Your ass belongs to me now, and you'll do what I say, or you'll be sorry that you did it! Fuck with me, and I'll fuck with your sorry ass all day long! You were sent here to be rehabilitated, and rehabilitate you, we will. Okay, you assholes. We're gonna cut you loose just long enough to get you cleaned up. Now get in line and follow me. After three action-packed days of staring at the wall, I got a message from Joe to contact a guy named Leo Galante, who could supposedly help me out in here. This wasn't the kind of place where you could survive on your own. I know you. You're that fucking guinea who was with Barbara in the jewelry store. I'm in this fucking hell hell because of you. You got locked up because you're a stupid, crazy fuck. <laughs> you know, fellas, my mom was right. There is a god! <laughs> and he sent you here, you guinea bastard. So that I... Pay you back! This looks interesting. Wanna make a small bet? Step back! Okay, Did you hear me? Break it out. out of here! Both of you are moving! We're gonna give you a little time to think about what you've done. Close it up. So O'Neill almost took my head off, but I made a stand. Let me tell you something, when you're inside, it counts for a lot more than you might think. How long are you planning on keeping him in here? Long enough to learn his lesson. That's gonna have to change. He in any shape to fight. Should be. Boys didn't knock him around too bad after the brawl in the yard. 
All right, open it up. Rise and shine, Scaletta. You got yourself a visitor. My name is Leo Galante. I heard you wanted to speak to me. Yeah. Uh, one of Clemente's guys said I should contact you. Said maybe you could help me out. Oh, fuck Clemente. I don't provide protection for his guys in here. But I saw how you handled that mick who's after you, O'Neill. You could prove useful. Come with me, boy. <clears throat> Now listen up, fellas. This is Vito. He's gonna be helping us out. Peppy here's got a big fight coming up. Against O'Neill. He needs a sparring partner. And from what I saw of you out there in the yard, you're just the man for the job. You're gonna help us out, kid. In return, you'll be under my protection. And who knows, maybe you'll even learn a thing or two along the way. I guess I can't say no to that offer, huh? I don't remember asking. All right, fellas. Let's get this show on the road. So, how close did you get to Clemente, Vito? Actually, I never met him. I always dealt with either Henry Tomasino or Luca Garino. Huh. I can't believe that cocksucker Garino's still breathing. What was your deal with him? Well, you know, we did a couple jobs for him, and, uh... Luca said he'd bring us into the family for, uh, five grand. What? Typical fucking Alberto. He's always been a crooked bastard. Uh, so what is that, like more than usual? Yeah, like five grand more than usual. You don't gotta pay to get in, Vito. You're brought into the family once you prove that you're loyal, a good earner. And he can handle, <laughs> you know, the life. In any case, this is an interesting piece of news. When this gets out, Alberto and Luca are gonna have a lot of explaining to do. To who? Jeez. Don't worry about that. We'll talk about it some other time. Watch where you walk, Guaylo! Maybe if your eyes were all the way open, you would've seen me coming, asshole. Galante. Crooked white devil. Nice to see you too, Mr. Wu. Crooked? You bet on your own guy and he lost. That's the way it works in this country. Then Wu offer you a rematch. I think I can arrange that. You up to it, Vito? Chinaman, huh? Yeah, get him a stepladder and send them over. All right, Wu. Looks like you got yourself a rematch. And none of that chop suey crap this time. Hi, Vito. Hey, Frankie. How you doing? I'm doing good. Real good. Thanks. So, uh, how's things? Well, I, I got something to tell you. I'm getting married, Vito. Oh, Maron, that's great. I mean, it would have been nice if he asked my permission first, but... Hey, I'm happy for you. Vito, you're in jail. Look at yourself. Uh, how'd you let this happen? Hey, I already got a lecture from the judge, huh? I don't need another one. Just... Just drop it, all right? Vito, there's something else. It's Mama. What do you mean? What about her? She's sick, Vito. She's been like this for weeks, and she's not getting any better. Look, Frankie, go to Joe's. He's holding on to my money for me. You get her the best doctor you can find. And, uh, you keep the rest as a wedding gift. Vito... No, no, I mean it. Looks like I'm not gonna need it for a while. All right, looks like I gotta go. Uh, look, you take care of Ma. Tell her I love her. I will. And thanks, Vito. Bye. What's the hold up here? Move your asses. Hey, Frankie. We got a little business to take care of here, huh? Why don't you go have a smoke? <laughs> yeah, sure. Have your fun, you sick bastards. I like your scars, pretty boy. Where'd you get them? Sorry, asshole. You picked the wrong ass to drill. We can do this the easy way. Or the hard way. Your choice. I got a better idea. Why don't you go fuck your buddies instead? Or better yet, go fuck yourself. 
Okay. I guess you want it rough. Don, boy, you know the drill. Oh, and, uh, this came today. Might want to read it. Looks important. Mama died while Francesca was visiting me. Instead of going toward a good doctor and a wedding gift, every penny I had went to the funeral. Mr. Galante wants to talk to you. Come with me. Good to have you back, kid. What the hell happened? It looks like the mix weren't up for a fair fight. A couple of them jumped Pepe yesterday. It was a lot more than a couple. Yeah, well, we sure as hell ain't gonna let this go. What do you got in mind? Pepe's got it all worked out. Took a little persuading, but O'Neill's all by himself right now in the gym. Guards won't be back for a while. You're just gonna give him a good beating, break a couple of bones, same as they did to me. Got it? Yeah, I got it. All right, come with me. Break a leg, kid. I'll wait out here. If the guards get back early, I'll warn you. Okay. All right, go for it. Hey, O'Neill. I got a little business to settle with you. Just the man I wanted to see. <laughs> Jesus, what the fuck are you made of? To do better than that, little girl! out just fine. They never found out who did it. Leo arranged for me to relocate to his cell. Well, actually, it was more like a suite. Life was getting better by the minute. So, Vito, what do you plan on doing when you get out of this shithole? I don't know. I sure as hell ain't gonna go back to work on for Clemente, I can tell you that. Yeah, you're better off just forgetting about that old bastard. Trust me. Alberto's a real cocksucker, and you can bet that lawyer he's hired was just there to make sure you didn't rot. But don't worry. You'll get his. Letting guys into your family for money like he offered you is against the rules. He's gonna have a lot of explaining to do. To who? I thought Clemente was the boss. You obviously don't know how things work around here. You see, there's more than one family in Empire Bay. There's three. Each family controls their own neighborhoods. There's a system of rules, and if there's any disagreements, the bosses of all the families meet to work things out. That's the commission. Great, so what do I do now? Am I in trouble too? No, 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 no. nothing like that. You're young, you're smart, and you've proven you can keep your mouth shut. You're exactly the type of guy everybody wants working for him. Yeah, but I don't even know who these other guys are. There's two other bosses besides Clemente. One is Carlo Falcone. The other? It's Frank Vinci. Carlo is young and ambitious. Yeah, the guy's a freaking nut job. He's new blood. Whereas Don Vinci is a man of honor. He respects the old ways. You know these guys? <laughs> you could say that. And Frank Vinci is consigliere. You think being just a regular old man gets you all this? But listen, Vito. I'm getting out in a few months. When I do, you'll see what we can do about... Adjusting your sentence. Pepe, come here. Have a taste. Vito Scaletta, 
Yeah? What's it to you? You're under arrest for the illegal distribution of federal ration stamps. You're coming with us. One of the gas station attendants ratted me out. The guy fingered me and they strung on Mama into telling him where I was staying. But they had no idea who I was working for and I wasn't about to tell them. Henry was able to get me a lawyer, courtesy of his boss, Clementi. I was up Shit's Creek, but at least I had a battle. Could have been a hell of a lot worse if the Feds knew and about I any of my other activities. To be even more serious, considering the fact that you stole national resources at a time when our country needs them the most. And that's the gravity of which you, Mr. Scaletta... The guy was good, but even he couldn't get me out of this one. It was a lost cause from day one. Three months later, they handed down the verdict. Vittorio Antonio Scaletta, for your crimes against the people of this city and of this great country,